Good day, Jayhog. This is Serpent here. We've had a couple guys ask about the L2 MUM system for the Kiowa. So I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of how I set it up. Um, the mission editor side I'll show you here at the end of the video just so you have an idea of what's, what uh, we're actually looking at here. But once you get set up, and this is how I've been using it uh, on our recon mission, so you can use it to find a target. So today, for this example, I've actually already set a waypoint on my target just to speed up the process a little bit. So first things first, if you're doing cold starts, you want to make sure back here this L2 mum uh, power is set to the up position. That will turn on the system. Um, and just for the meantime, I'll go ahead and turn on all of the uh, the weapon systems so we can actually go ahead and start setting up to shoot this target once we get eyes on it. Um, so we're going to jump into the left seat here. Go ahead and start turning everything on. Um, then here's how you get to the page. So this is really cool. Um, you hit the initial button here and that will bring up a list of uh, feeds, basically. Now these are, I'm not sure what the deal is with the Kiowa channels, but um, ultimately the one that I put in a mission editor is a predator orbiting over my target, which is called UAS test. Um, so the bezel buttons on the side bring you down. The top left button will select. You'll see that when it goes to 100%, you know it's working. Hit the next page, and boom, there is your target. Um, at least this is uh, what's working with. It'll basically show up the first target that any of the drones find. So it's kind of odd there, a little bug, I think, or, or a limitation within DCS where they only track one target at a time. So it is what it is, but it gives you a place to find a target. Uh, especially on something like our recon mission where uh, the, the map is completely blank. You don't see anything but your aircraft. So this is a way to find what you want to go look for. So cool thing about this, though, is let me zoom in a little bit. So I hit overlay a few times, and that will bring up the target data. So this is, you know, for example, you know, you want to set up a nav point. You can do that, which I've already done. I, d I made a waypoint previously, so that's, you know, no issues uh, with that functionality there. But uh, so that's functional there. So I'm going to leave that on there for a moment. And then uh, we're going to go back to the MMS page and just set this up so I can actually shoot at it. I'm going to set my uh, laser on. And we're going to go ahead and set pre-point, since I've already created a uh, waypoint for that. So I'm going to hit pre-point, hit one, enter, and that will pop up with one whiskey. And now it's uh, tracking that. So now I can uh, hit the slate button, and the MMS is automatically going to go find that direction. Now, I, it's not set on ground level, so it's a little bit funny there. So once I get airborne, I'll have to slew it down to actually see the, the target. But now, once this is done... Uh, let me jump over to the first seat here, the pilot seat, and I'm going to go ahead and activate my Hellfire page, set these up to manual, ready to go, put the video feed, and now this is what I'm actually going to shoot off of, uh, because I'm going to go ahead and go to the left seat again, so I can laze, and uh, so now, obviously now I can see laser arms on, I'm run alpha code, and master arm is already on. So if I lift, let's go ahead and take off here. And now I'm just using the MMS basically on the right MFD. And then I'm going to use this screen over here to see the drone footage uh, of the same target that I'm going to be looking for here in a moment. So let's go ahead and take off here. Try not to mess this up. This thing's so easy to fly though. It's a uh, quite love this thing. It's really, really fun. Flies great, and it's uh, it just handles really good. So we'll just... Uh, and the cool thing about the pre-point, you know, if you were to use the target data just to make your own waypoint so you know what you're shooting at, that is uh, that's kind of the point that you would do that instead of having a, a waypoint already in your system. Um, so you can go find that target that you found on the drone feed and uh, go find it and hunt it down. And as we'll see here in a moment, let me get up high enough so where I can actually see the target area where this guy's at. That diamond in the uh, MMS feed is the basically nose-on position of where that's at. So I'm going to go ahead and have... All right, let's see if I can pick up a here. stable hover. And uh, let me hit manual mode here. And we're going to scroll down 
zoom in, see if I can find this target. Looks like we're still a little bit. Uh, where we at here? Du, 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 du. Quite hot here. Gotta come up a little higher. Looks like it may have to. He's on an island right out here, so I may have to just come up a little bit higher. And again, this is a, a bit of a, a way of doing it for solo flyers, so you can do this uh, primarily from the left seat. as high as I was earlier when I did this. Let's see if we can get eyes on our target now. Where are you at, dude? Yeah, you're on that island over there. Alright, we got a little higher. Let's go a little higher. did this a couple minutes ago testing this out here so I can actually show you how this works and then uh, it's like hey we're gonna do something different. Let's go ahead and uh, slave to the three point again. Come back down. Let's go down. I should put us right on top of it. If we can see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, all right. So there's our target tank. It's, uh, it's as good a zoom as we can get. And because I'm using the right MFD, so basically I'm using the pilot seat and the uh, co-pilot seat at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and lay. So you see the box goes solid, indicating i got a good track on the Hellfire. So we're going to go ahead and fire. Boom, there's a Hellfire off. Target's uh, not going to last too much longer and we'll see it splash on the uh, drone feed as well here in a moment. Boom! There you go. And that's pretty much it. So this is a really cool feature. This is probably one of my favorite cool new features with uh, DCS right now is being able to hook up to these systems because you know if you have a drone up and the map is set up to where you can't see anything on it. Well, you can still find targets um, and go do sneaky stuff, which is what this aircraft is made to do. So hopefully this will help, folks. Um, Got to play with it a little bit more. So let me uh, let me jump out of here, and I'll jump in and show you what I did on the mission editor just, to, just for example here so you can do this uh, on your own. editor. So with the drones, like for example, one of the issues I'm having with uh, on a current other build is I've got more than one drone up in the air, but they all track the same target, even if they're 60 miles apart. It's kind of funny. A uh, little bit of a bug there, but make sure you name these guys something that you can uh, keep an eye You know, something short. Include UAS because it does match up with the uh, the, the menus in the in the uh, the screen on the on the Kiowa. So that makes it a little easier. You know, UAS and a location of where they're orbiting is kind of a helpful thing that we kind of look at the map and say, oh, hey, that was over there. Uh, but that's it. Uh, and now, obviously, the waypoint I put in the Kiowa for waypoint one, so I can pre-point to that, would be something that you would plug in using your navigation tools uh, once you find out the information from the uh, the drone. So hopefully this helps and um, will allow you to get out there and have some fun. Uh, learn how to use this uh, cool new feature a little bit better. Have a good one, everyone.